Hi. Today we will explore how to create cards using HTML and CSS that look great on any device. We will learn how to use responsive design techniques to make the cards adapt perfectly to different screen sizes. Let's get started and create together cards that will catch the eye and provide a pleasant visual experience on your website. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. Your support means the world to us and helps us keep creating valuable videos for you. Thank you for being part of our community. First, we'll create the basic HTML structure. We start with a div with a container class to group all the cards. Inside this container, we'll add another div with a card class for each individual card. Each card will contain an image. followed by a div with the card content class to group the title, description, and button. By duplicating the initial card three more times, we will have a total of four cards within the container. This allows us to demonstrate how multiple cards can be displayed responsively on a web page. Each card will be styled consistently using HTML and CSS to ensure they look great on all devices. By using display, flex, justify content, center, and align items, center, we center the container both horizontally and vertically within the body. Min height, 100 VH, ensures the content takes up at least the full viewport height, and overflow, auto, allows for scrolling if the content exceeds the viewport height. Container class uses display, flex, to enable flexbox layout, flex wrap, wrap, to allow items to wrap onto multiple lines, and gap, 20px, to set a 20px space between items. Justify content, center, horizontally centers the items, align items, center, vertically centers them, and padding, 20px, adds 20px of padding around the container for spacing. Card class styles individual card elements. Background color, hashtag triple times F, sets the background color to white, and border radius, 10px, gives the card rounded corners. The box shadow, 04px 8px rigb 0, 0, 0, 0 0.2, adds a subtle shadow to give the card a lifted effect. Overflow, hidden, ensures that any content overflowing the card's boundaries is hidden. The width, 100% ensures the card takes up the full width of its container, while max width, 300px, limits its maximum width to 300 pixels. Finally, transition, transform 0.3s, box shadow 0.3s, adds a smooth transition effect for transformations and shadow changes, enhancing interactivity and visual appeal. Card Im class styles the card's image. Width, 100%, makes the image span the full width of the card, and height, 200px, sets a fixed height. Object fit, cover, ensures the image covers the entire area without distortion. Transition, transform 0.3s, adds a smooth transition effect for transformations, enhancing visual appeal on hover or interaction. Card content class applies padding, 15px which adds 15 pixels of space inside the card's content area, creating separation between the content and the card's edges for improved readability and visual appeal. Card Content H2 class removes the default margin with margin, 0, sets the font size to 1.5m, for a larger heading, and changes the text color to a dark gray, number 333, making the heading more prominent and visually appealing within the card content. Card Content P class sets the paragraph text color to a medium gray, number 666, 
and adjusts the font size to 0.9 rem, ensuring the text is readable but less dominant than the heading, providing a balanced and visually appealing layout within the card content. Card content a class removes underlining from links with text decoration, none, sets the link color to a bright blue, hashtag 007BFF, and makes the text bold with font weight, bold. This styling makes links stand out and easily identifiable within the card content, while maintaining a clean and attractive design. Card hover class applies a transformation and shadow effect when the card is hovered over. Transform. Scale 1.05, slightly enlarges the card to 105% of its original size, creating a zoom effect. Box Shadow, 08px 16px Rigba 0, 0, 0, 0 0.3, adds a deeper shadow, making the card appear more elevated and emphasizing interactivity. The Card Hover Image class applies a transformation effect to the image within the card when the card is hovered over. Transform, Scale 1.1 enlarges the image to 110% of its original size, creating a subtle zoom-in effect that adds visual interest and enhances the interactive feel of the card. The at media, max width, 600px, media query applies styles specifically for devices with a screen width of 600 pixels or less. Dot container, justify content, center ensures that the container's contents are centered horizontally on small screens, enhancing the layout's responsiveness and usability. Card. Width. 100%. Max width. None. Sets the card's width to 100% of its parent container and removes any maximum width restriction. This ensures that the cards take up the full width of the screen, making them more readable and accessible on smaller devices. Congratulations on making it to the end of this tutorial. Well done for sticking with it. By now, you should have created 4 fully responsive cards that look great on all devices. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!